dear viewers welcome to our channel gvs bank academy now i am going to discuss about jib indian economy and indian financial system paper 1 module c unit 30 money market this topic is useful for jib cab and also for all banks promotion examinations and interviews and presently our jb classes for may examination cab classes for june examinations are in progress interested members are requested to join question number 1 call money borrowing or lending money market call money borrowing or lending for one day in the money market call money means borrowing or lending for overnight or one day call money notice money borrowing or lending by banks 2 to 14 days 2 to 14 days notice money for withdrawal of notice money one clear working day notice is required for withdrawal of notice money third term money borrowing or lending for 15 days and up to 1 year from 15 days to up to 1 year term money what are the prudential limits for the scheduled commercial banks borrowing from call money notice money prudential limits borrowing limits from call money notice money scheduled commercial banks include regional rural banks are allowed to borrow 100% of capital funds of the bank 100% of capital funds to tier 1 and tier 2 capital funds on daily average basis they are allowed to borrow during the fortnight on any given one day during the fortnight they are allowed to borrow 125% of capital funds 125% of capital funds mean tier 1 and tier 2 capital in the money market where the trades are going to be executed conducted nds dealing system negotiated dealing system call system this is the nds dealing system call system trading trades are conducted six treasury bills issued by issuing authorities government on behalf of government public debt office of rbi issuing the treasury bills for short term government of india mismatches in funding what is the duration of treasury bills 91 days 182 days and 364 days treasury bills presently these are face value 100 rupees issued at a discount to the face value on maturity they are paying uh, face value minimum investment amount 25000 If anybody want to invest, minimum investment of amount is twenty five thousand. Whatever the treasury bills, uh, investments are there for scheduled bank that is comes under part of statutory liquidity ratio (SLR) securities. Start SLR securities six seven repo. Present repo is six point five percent. Present repo repo means borrowing from RBI against. SLR securities by scheduled bank scheduled commercial banks repo present repo is 6.5% and banks borrowing from RBI that is there for that borrowing banks has to give unencumbered clear securities SLR securities to RBI as security so repo bar first leg is borrowing from RBI second leg is repayment of Uh, to repayment to RBI along with borrowed funds plus interest. So present repo rate is 6.5 percent. Eighth tri-party repo introduced in 2017 by RBI TREPS tri-party repo. This is operated by Clearing Corporation of India. Operated by Clearing Corporation of India. This is RBI approved money market. Money market means one day to one year. Normally, regulatory is RBI. Money market regulatory is RBI. Money market is organized market regulated by RBI. And 
minimum amount the participant can borrow 5 lakhs and in multiples 5 lakhs borrowing period is one day to one year also they are allowed to borrow from through tri tripartite repo or also lent to ccl tripartite repo and what is the benefit under tripartite repo members can substitute securities in the tripartite repo ccl clearing corporation of india acting as a third party mediator between two banks participating to provide depth and liquidity in the corporate bond market along with government securities in the tripartite repo cccl can accept corporate bonds also as security so that is the tripartite repo benefit corporate bonds are also they are taking and members can also substitute securities which they had given initially ninth point certificate of deposit certificate of deposit issued by scheduled commercial banks including rrbs excluding local area banks certificate of deposit cannot be allowed to issue by local area banks. issued by scheduled commercial banks all india financial institutions minimum denomination face value 5 lakhs and in multiples of 5 lakhs this is a discounted instrument issue discount on maturity you will get payment of 5 lakhs we cannot sanction no loan against certificate of deposit minimum maturity period is 7 days and maximum up to 1 year for scheduled commercial banks minimum 7 days issuance period maximum up to 1 year for all india financial institutions minimum 1 year maximum 3 years minimum 1 year maximum 3 years but their borrowing limit is within their umbrella limit as accepted by rbi umbrella limit umbrella limit means not along with other borrowings certificate of deposit to hmm, inter corporate deposits debentures all together that comes under rbi umbrella limit and for issue of certificate of deposit for commercial banks no upper limit certificate of deposit can be buy back from the market after 7 days from the date of issue rate of interest now it may be fixed or floating rate of interest also for the banks no cap and issuance of amount to banks any amount they can borrow so what are the major points face value 5 lakhs minimum 7 days maximum 1 year buy back after 7 days these are the scheduled commercial banks 10th commercial paper this is also one of the major money market instrument this this is one of money market instrument corporates are allowed purpose what purpose corporates are borrowing working capital purpose who will issue this companies commercial paper companies nbfcs all india financial institutions with fund based facility from banks and financial institutions the account has classified as standard the main criteria for issuance is companies nbfcs all india financial institution with fund based facility means either term loan or working capital limit from banks and financial institution and the asset must be in standard asset the issuance of commercial paper minimum 7 days maximum up to 1 year the commercial paper was issued in the form of promissory note promissory note minimum paper denomination face value 5 lakhs and in multiples of 5 lakhs and issued at discount on maturity they will get the face value of 5 lakhs no underwritten no underwritten no co acceptance no put option no call option are not permitted so in the issue of commercial paper no underwriting is accepted no co acceptance no put option no call option what is the rating requirement for issue of commercial paper a3 from external credit rating agency a3 buy back of commercial paper after 30 days from the date of issue that is allowed that buy back is also allowed from the market 
So this is about the commercial paper. Face value five lakhs in multiples of five lakhs. Period seven days to one year. Rating A3 rating required. Buyback after thirty days. No underwriting. No co-acceptance. No put option. No call option. Eleventh point. Bills rediscounting scheme. That is the BRDS. Now what the Sheffield Commercial Banks? They will rediscounting of trade bills with RBI. Whenever there is a requirement of funds, already A class bills discounted by the banks. For just like refinance, they are going to rediscount with RBI at the bank rate, and minimum tenor is period is fifteen days, and maximum they can go for ninety days. Normally, banks. Are not going for rediscounting in the recent past, but whenever there is a requirement of funds, liquidity problem is there, then banks will go on rediscount type their bill at a bank rate for 15 days to one day, um, 90 days. That is the rediscounting of bills. Twelve long term repo operations. It was introduced in 2000. Minimum bid amount one crore. The long term repo operations, one year and three years respect. It may be issued for one year or three years respectively. Long term repo operations are conducted in RBI UK Bear platform CBS, and the repo rate is fixed repo rate. Whatever the repo rate is there, that rate is applicable. Presently, repo rate is six point five percent. At six point five percent, RBI is extending. One year, and or for three years also, they are extending long-term repo operations. That is thirteenth point. Infinite Indian Financial Network. This all banks are using Infinite Indian Financial Network. We are using this now. Clearing Corporation of India. Fourteenth point. It was set up in April two thousand one by banks, financial institutions, so primary dealers. Clearing Corporation of India was set up by in April twenty one by banks, financial primary dealers, to function as industry service organization. What purpose? It is the, it had to provide the survey to the banks, and also clearing and settlement of. Trades, clearing and settlement in trades of money market, government securities market, forex market. Now presently, CCL is the central control party for money market instruments, government of India securities, foreign exchange market securities, so derivatives also. It acts as a central control party. In central court control party means in between two banks, it is acting as a Counterparty between Government of India Securities, SLR Securities, US Dollar, INR, Foreign Exchange Rates, both spot and forward. Dollar, INR, Forex Exchange Rates also. This is acting and repo tripartite repo markets also. It is acting as a central counterparty. So whenever there is a central counterparty, what is the benefit? Settlement risk is not there. Settlement risk is not there. Hundred percent guaranteed settlement is going to be executed through central country party transactions are there. So this is about the clearing corporation of India. Dear viewers, now presently we are conducting J B C A B online classes for May and June examinations. Interested parties are requested to contact on this number. Thank you very much for all.